Welcome to Electromagnetics Theory Lecture Series. I, Prof. Ritesh Dulakia, is going to explain you very interesting example based on electrostatic field. And here, I will explain you very important fundamentals regarding electrostatic field. So, I request you to see this video till last so that you can understand important fundamentals of electrostatic field. So, let us see the question first. So, here question is in cylindrical coordinate system the potential produced by a uniform ring charge is given by phi is equals to f of r comma z where f is a continuous function of r and z let electric field be the resulting electric field then magnitude of del cross e means curl of electric field is how much so here first of all we need to understand what is the question and what is given to us see here we have been given with uniform ring charge and because of that we have been given with potential phi that is a function of r and z where f is continuous function so we have given with uniformly charged ring so charge is fixed right and it generates potential that is continuous function it is not discrete function so what it means we have been given with electric field which is not changing with respect to time so situation is there for electrostatics here whatever electric field that is generated because of this charge that will be electrostatic field it will not be electrodynamic it will be electrostatic as charge is fixed on the ring let me draw the situation first so here we have given with uniformly charged ring with rho l charge density right so ring is given to us and this ring is generating electric field in the space so let us say here we have electric field so obviously that will be function of r and z but it is not a function of time as here electric field is time independent now here there are few essential points that one should note down in case of electrostatics electric field does not change with respect to time if electric field does not change with respect to time then Number one, electric field is conservative in nature. Number two, electric field is path independent. And number three, electric field is curl free. Let me note those points here first. So first point that is electric field is conservative. What it means? It does not change with respect to time. Right. So that is what the statement that I have said. Secondly, it is not depending on path. Like you see, if I say I am having two points. See, one point is over here and one point is over here. Let us say this is point one and this is point two. Now there is electric field. Right. But if you want to move one charge from point one to point two, First of all, there are infinite number of path, right? And when you move back this charge to again from 2 to 1, then again there are infinite number of path. So to move charge from point 1 to point 2, there are infinite number of path. And to move charge from point 2 to point 1, again there are infinite number of path. We can say there is line integration of electric field which is equals to 0 for closed path right why the reason is you don't need to do external work done to move charge from one location to other location as electric field is conservative there is no change in electric field so no additional work done required to move charge so here one can say electric field is path independent now to prove it is curl free here let us apply stokes theorem so what is Stokes theorem? Stokes theorem gives relationship in between line integration and surface integration. See functions line integration is equals to curl of the function surface integration that is what Stokes theorem right. 
so here line integration of electric field that will be curl of function means del cross e surface integration right and that is equals to zero so one can say del cross e that is equals to zero what it means we can say electric field is curl free so if you see here what is the question question is the magnitude of del cross e is how much it is zero as we have been given with electrostatic condition so for electrostatic condition these three statements are very essential electric field is conservative electric field is path independent and electric field is curl free right and i have seen many questions are coming based on this type of understanding related electrostatics so i think i should share this type of question with you i hope this will help you to understand many more other questions regarding electrostatics thank you so much for watching this video